everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to my channel, and for today's video, I'm doing a little advice video, basically just talking about what I learned after my first year of pharmacy school, since I'm pretty much almost done with my first year. It is July right now, and I finish at the beginning of August, like that's when finals end, and finals start at the end of this month, so I'm pretty much done, and I figure it's kind of a good time to do this in case there are incoming pharmacy students that are on the lookout for this before they're school starts in August, so here I am. Um, I'm gonna be talking about my experience. Um, obviously every pharmacy school is gonna be slightly different, but I do think that a lot of these tips still apply um, no matter what pharmacy school you're at. And um, I also have my computer here, which I will be looking down on because I put down some notes of like pointers that I wanna say so that I don't, I, so I don't ramble too long and so I don't forget anything. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go off of that. So first, I kind of broke this up into like three different sections. So the first section that I have is just general advice. And so um, if you're starting pharmacy school, come in with an open mind, but also make sure to mentally prepare yourself. Uh, I heard from people that pharmacy school was gonna be hard um, and that it's just different from undergrad. But I mean, obviously you don't really understand the extent of that until you actually start. Um, I started and I went, oh, this is intense. Uh, so just come in with an open mind. Like don't, 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 don't close your mind, but also keep aware that it's gonna be hard, um, but don't let that like mess with you too much. Um, also just, I would recommend, I know this is like so like, yeah, of course, but start studying early. Uh, things pile up really fast. You're taking 20 units per semester, or at least I am because my pharmacy school is three years. I know some pharmacy schools, or I guess most of them are four years because mine's year round and kind of condensed a little bit. Um, but so start studying early, things pile up super, super fast, especially when you're taking 20 units and also you're doing IPI, which if you don't know what that is, it's Introductory Pharmacy Practice Experience. Um, it's basically unpaid work, essentially, as an intern. So things just pile up super fast when you're busy. So just start studying early, don't fall behind, because if you fall behind, it's really hard to catch up, I know from experience. The next thing is just to go to lecture just go to lecture. I know a lot of people, I notice in the classroom like attendance starts to drip as the semester, or I guess it's technically trimester. I refer to them as semesters though, because that's just what I'm used to, but they're technically trimesters. But attendance dips as it goes on. And go to lecture. If you don't go to lecture, at least watch lecture recordings if they are provided. Um, but yeah, also participation points. There are participation points in lecture, at least for my school, for some professors. And anything that you can do to help your grade will be good. <laughs> Second, um, some of the professors also have like really like intense slides with like so much information. And like, they physically say like, focus on this. So then you know, make a mental note or a physical note actually like, focus on this. This is what we'll be testing on. This is what's important. Um, so another thing that I have here is going back to IPI, um, you can do it during breaks, at least in my school, like, we have a three-week winter break, a one-week spring break, and a two-week summer break. Those are our breaks. And so you can do your IPIs during your breaks, but personally, I think it's a good idea to not, just so you have that period to mentally reset because I think doing school, or not, I guess it's not technically school, but it's still a lot of learning. Um, but doing that like completely year round without a break it can be really, really mentally draining. So you obviously can, like, I'm not here to tell you what to do. But what I found for me is that like that one week break or that two week break or whatever, like I needed that to just mentally reset so I can prepare myself for the next semester. Um, and also during the winter break, the three week break that I had, um, we had to study 300 drugs for the top drugs list. So if you can get your hands on like just Google search or if you know an upperclassman or whatever, um, look for a drug list, 
start that early because learning 300 drugs over three weeks is basically impossible like everything about them it's basically impossible uh so yeah back to the head start thing but yeah if you do your ippies i'm sorry i'm jumping all over the place even though i literally have notes but if you do your ippies during the semester it's not that bad it's only 80 hours at least for us um per semester so it's 80 hours over how many weeks 14 weeks i don't know how long the semester is but it's not that bad at all and the last thing i wrote on here it's kind of funny uh just remember pain is temporary <laughs> it is uh you'll get through it um you'll get through school and then you'll go to work and the good thing about work is that you don't bring work at home with you so you do your work at work you go home and you can you know but that's it for general advice moving on to like studying itself um i'm planning on doing a video pretty soon probably early next month uh more in depth about my notes and studying techniques that i've like used and found like what works for me um more specifically in that video so if you're watching this after i upload that video i will link in the description box below i'll also put it in the corner um so you can watch that um but if you if you're watching this when this comes out turn on notification bell <laughs> but I'll, I'll do that video uh but basically i'm just going to provide short basics here uh so just find out what method works for you are you a visual learner are you an auditory learner a kinesthetic learner it's important to find out what works for you so that you know how you can study best and most efficiently and a lot of it takes trial and error it does so just like for maybe for your first exams your your first wave of exams try one method second wave try another method which one felt better you could figure that out that way um another thing is that active recall is your best friend active recall is your best friend don't just read off of PowerPoint slides. It won't get you anywhere. You will not retain any of it. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of PowerPoint slides. You are not gonna remember anything <laughs> if you just read it. So Active Recall is your best friend and you could get a friend to test you or you can test yourself using sort of flashcards like Quizlet or something like that. Um, and you'll be studying a lot. That's my next thing. You'll be studying a lot get used to it. It's just a part of life. It's what happens. Accept it. I've accepted it. <laughs> um, but friends do make it a lot more bearable. And that's what I'm going to get into um, for my third and final section of this video. It's, it's just titled like fraternities and friends. I kind of bunched them all together because they're the same thing. Uh, so first for just fraternities specifically, um, I would recommend your first uh, your first semester to go to the pre-rushes for the pharmacy for I mean you could do social if you want but I'm just talking about pharmacy fraternities here because I'm in a pharmacy fraternity um, so go to the pre-rushes connect with people make a lot of friends talk to people get those connections figure out who you vibe with who your ideals align with and who you just connect with and see yourself like being friends with or whatever um, it's always just good to know people in the class too if you don't actually end up like rushing or um, that like if you don't end up joining one just talking to people and getting to know the people that are in your class is also very beneficial um, but yeah don't feel like when don't feel like you need to join one only if you connect with them join them um, and just friends in general like fraternities and not fraternities just friends in general are a very good studying resource so try to branch out and meet new people because um, we're all in the same boat here and uh, yeah friends are very important study buddies study buddies all the way I advocate for study buddies um, for multiple reasons you can have study buddies that you actively study with where you relay information back to each other fill in each other's knowledge gaps teach each other um quiz each other like all that stuff or you can have study buddies that you literally just sit with and you both study but you don't have to talk to each other or do anything but you're just there with each other 
Um, or you can do a combo because that's kind of what I do. Um, but yeah, no matter what, like I find study buddies are important, especially for motivation. Like even if you're not like actively quizzing each other or talking with each other, if you're just sitting there, like just having someone there like, oh, I have to be on task right now. I can't touch my phone. I can't be off task. They're on task, so I have to be on task. Um, that really helps with staying motivated and uh, like not getting distracted. That's the word. Uh, so yeah. And then the last point that I have underneath friends, um, it doesn't really have to do with actually studying itself or really school itself kind of in a way, but friends, having friend time every once in a while is good for your health. You need mental breaks. It's important. Fine. Look at your schedule plan ahead, find weeks that you don't have as many exams and that you may have a little bit of a breather room and spend that time with friends. Get that kind of like, I don't know the word, but you can, you know what I'm going for here. Um, that's what I did. Uh, if you watched uh, my, my vlogs, uh, my birthday vlog, that was fun. There wasn't too much around there. Um, so I was able to spend a lot of time with my friends and then also the 626 vlog, we planned that a little bit in advance, like a few weeks in advance, because we looked at our schedules. We found out that we didn't have very much that week, like at all. So we're like, great, let's have some fun friend time. It perfectly works out with when 626 is occurring, like it's perfect. So I would just recommend, look at your schedule ahead of time, plan out fun friend times. That way you aren't just doing school 24 seven, even though it still feels like it but you will feel a little bit better. And after that mental reset, then you can get back to the grind and continue studying. So as I'm filming this, it is July 9th, right? It's the day before it's getting uploaded. Um, I have crazy, I'm in the middle of like crazy exam, crazy like period right now where I have a bunch of exams and OSCE presentation, like events and stuff. So I'm really busy, but after this week, I have a little bit of breather room. So I am gonna spend some time with my friends and you will see the vlog that is to come of that sometime in the future. Um, but yeah, it's just really important to remember that like you need the mental break. But yeah, that's basically it that I have here listed. That's my advice. I honestly think it would have been really good to know a lot of these things before. Um, coming into pharmacy school, because really all I knew um, was that it was gonna be hard and not, like, it's just not gonna be easy. Like, that's that's all I knew, but I didn't really know much else and kind of wish I did. So I hope I could help you if you are joining pharmacy school in the near future. If you are, welcome. It's a great experience. <laughs> Am I convincing? No, I mean, it is. It's it's interesting. Like all the subjects are very interesting. It's just very draining because you're, you know, doing a lot of work, but that comes with school. So that's it. If you want some more tips specifically on studying, make sure to stay tuned because I will post that sometime in the new, near future, probably about the time where my finals are over. We shall see. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and write them in the comments section below. I will answer them to the best of my ability, but I am just a ordinary first year pharmacy student, so I don't know how much I could help, but I will try my very best. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will see you back again next Sunday for another video. Bye.